Hello, today for review I've got an entry level model of well-known manufacturer of the balanced armatures IEMs, AirSonic SM2. It is a dual balanced armature in air monitors as you can easily get from the name. It's priced about $200. Uh, in different shops so and it is a pretty interesting model for those who prefer uh, particular styles of music like uh, classic rock uh, classical music jazz and so on and so forth so let me tell about it in more details so box is pretty nice it's simple here is technical specifications they are pretty sensitive here is driver configuration one for lower frequencies and uh, one for the high frequencies uh, also there is uh, 116 decibels for milliwatts a pretty sensitive uh, frequency response normal 44 ohms it's uh, pretty good because uh, it's uh, when uh, iems uh, have low impedance uh, it causes a lot of heat from particular sources so they are uh, they have normal impedance so inner box is stylish just black simple air sonics logo and nothing more and inside here is earphones themselves so everything packaged carefully with style Here, here they are. I'll show them a bit later, and will you will have a nice pouch with a set of accessories inside. Of accessories you will have a set of tips and cleaning tool. Here is brush for cleaning. And let me get all the tips. So, pair of forms. Two different double flange tips. Wider one and narrower one and also third pair of double flange tips attached here and as you can see pretty unusual tips single flange with moved forward so for those who like uh, to have not so deep insertion so accessory set is pretty normal as you can see you will have everything that you will need for these uh, earphones here is earphones themselves they made of transparent red plastic and this looks pretty interesting you can see internals uh, you can see drivers inside of it actually it's looking nice of course build is not perfect you can see for example the parts where the halves of the body is glued together but actually for this price i think they're looking okay plastic is strong so it will hold it will serve you long so here is sound more as you can see tips attached here cable is replaceable it's good to have it in pretty inexpensive model uh, used common two pin connector so actually cable is normal for this price it's nothing really fancy but it's good it's soft very comfortable it has this part with memory effect so you can bend it forming ear hooks for comfortable wear so here is splitter simple transparent tube used as a chin slider so splitter pretty strally and also simple angled 
jack so nothing fancy but everything built uh, pretty good so i i think this uh, earphones will serve you long also they are very comfortable because of nice soft ergonomic shape they fit almost to any ears with good comfort with good pretty good sound isolation and so on there is no microphonic effect cable is not getting hard when it's cold so actually for this price build and uh, look outlook i think is good as well as, as the comfort as for sound uh, airsonics tuned this uh, ims pretty unusual they are detailed fast like all balanced armatures are but they are a bit warmer and have accent on the mid bass so actually bass isn't deep main uh, lower frequencies uh, gathered around mid bass not much sub bass is present here bass is uh, fast and dry as usual for the balanced armatures is a, it's a bit lacking weight as usual for balanced armatures too uh, so it's not for some styles like uh, electronic music that needs uh, punchy bass it's also not uh, very good with uh, some hard rock and heavy metal recordings because sometimes bass is uh, running bleeding over the mid frequencies but it they are perfect for vocal for jazz music for classics for not the hard rock for example because bass here gives nice hint of warmness that sounds really really pleasant to my ears and uh, mid mids and highs is uh, complement them so for example dire straits sound really nice pink floyd and other music like that so mid frequencies are detailed but a bit rolled off and laid back uh, it's they're not the sharpest uh, there is not much sibilance but uh, mids has good have good detailization and uh, not so not superb not as in the more expensive balanced armatures but pretty good uh, sound stage is really wide it's wider than average so it's pretty unexpe unexpected for such an expensive iams at least for me and has a good depth with good separation highs are clean clear but a bit sparkling as usual for balanced armatures it's for, for, with, for models with not so many drivers so actually sound wise it is uh, not universal model but for some styles and genres they are re sound really pleasant they benefit from good sources so inexpensive players like Fayo X1 second generation for example or Shanling M1 would be a good uh, addition to them so if you listen to some music like I've told before it is really nice and interesting options that you should consider. Thank you for attention.